What's up guys, it's Nick and on today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on KV Core's Advanced Email Editor. Now with this Advanced Email Editor, you're able to create custom marketing for your clients and for your sphere and schedule them in a mass emailer right in KV Core. It's an amazing tool and I can't wait to show you guys all about it. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can find more content just like this. So let's get started. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create templates like this for a holiday email. Now, these emails are designed to go out to your sphere of influence, to your database of leads, through the mass emailing feature of KV Core, and you'll find that training and tutorial on how to set that up in a separate video. This video is all about how to create, to actually create the template from scratch and how to put it together so you can customize and even do things like add video through BombBomb or from YouTube. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by going all the way back. Here's an example of what you can create um, in this email editor and uh, I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning so I can show you just how easy it is to actually complete. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to close that down. We're going to go over to marketing autopilot. This is where we're going to start our journey today and you're going to notice here that again what I mentioned previously is that you can schedule mass emails to go out to your entire database and they are scheduled through KV Core's marketing autopilot under this schedule mass emails button. But there's actually gonna be a separate video that I'll have linked um, at the end of this video that'll explain that, okay? But this video is specifically around creating the templates. So we're gonna go into Marketing Autopilot again on this left-hand side, and then we're gonna go over to Smart Campaigns. We're gonna click on Start a Campaign. All right, and once you click on that, you're gonna go over to templates. All right, we're gonna, so we're not gonna click on campaign library, we're gonna click over to templates here. All right, so once we're into templates, we're gonna go click on add template, and we're gonna click on email template. Okay, and it's gonna bring up this basic editor. Now, again, we have to create this as a template first before we actually go and send it out. The reason being, it saves it so you can actually use this over and over again or just change out the pictures and keep the same template theme. So that's why I recommend keeping the template first and again, clicking that green button, going to email template so you pull this uh, editor up, okay? But this is just the basic editor. We wanna click this blue button here, this blue button here, that is the advanced editor. And when we click the advanced editor, it's gonna say, yes, do you wanna switch? Yes, and this is how we get to this page here. Now, before you do that, you may want to create a template name. So let's say I'm going to name this one holiday season 2021. Okay, and I'm gonna give it a subject line, wishing you and your loved ones a lovely holiday something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a subject line. I give it a template name so this way I can find it later and go and edit it. So when I do 2022, then I can go edit that one as well. But I'm gonna give it a name, give it a subject, and I'm gonna keep this here. Now, there's a couple of things you may want to do before you actually get to this page, or you can do it in another tab. Either is fine. First being is that you actually may want to uh, download a couple of images. So, for example, if you're doing something for holiday season or if you're doing something, um, let's say, for like, you know, a specific holiday like Easter or like uh, Mother's Day or Father's Day or, you know, any holidays out there, you may want to go download a image or a graphic or something or create one that, you know, that you can put uh, visually into the email. You also may want to put something into the header, and I'll show you an example of why. So if we drag it, uh, what I like to do is start with this. I like to take these dividers because it kind of breaks up the email and makes it look a lot more professional. So what I'll do is I'll take a divider and I'll drag it to the top. Okay, I'll take this image block and I'm gonna drag it underneath. And then I'm gonna take another divider and drag it under 
the image. So it kind of creates like a sandwich here for this header. The reason being, if you go and browse and you select something that is a rectangular shape, like this image that I've put together here for EXP Realty, you can see there that um, it, it creates like a, a general header for uh, the email. Um, this, this looks very similar to some of the templates you see in like Constant Contact or MailChimp, and it just looks nice overall. So I recommend doing it like that. Um, another thing you may want to play around with is that in the settings tab over here, you can actually go into the background color and change the color of the entire email. So you can, you can change it like this for different sections, um, you know, or you could, uh, you know, edit the entire thing as it goes along. So I'll give an example. You can even change the width of the email header. Right, so you know, I would leave it generally speaking around 500. That's the default. Um, but sometimes on our desktops, right, and our, or like if someone's opening it on a laptop, it's actually a lot more wider than 500 point. So if you're confused by what I just said, don't worry about it. Leave it at 500. If you're someone that wants to customize it a little bit more and say take up the full width screen of the entire uh, you know laptop or, e or desktop that someone may be opening this email on, you can even widen it through the settings tab over here. But we're gonna we're gonna leave that for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag another image block over here, okay, so that it creates a second image. And this is where I'm gonna where where I just explained. I'm gonna upload this other image here for holiday season, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag a text block underneath that so that I can write something here. Okay, and I may even change the text color to something like white so that it shows up a little bit better on the gray background. Or I just might change the gray background to something like a little bit more like lighter gray. So that might make it a little bit easier to read if I was to keep this, say, uh, text color black, right? So there we go. So that makes it a little bit easier. So you can toggle around with that. And actually light gray might be a little bit of a better option. Just gives it a little bit different tone when they open the email, but also keeps it so that it's not too dark that you can't read the text. So again, you have that here. You're gonna put your message here, you know, uh, you know, from our family to yours. Wishing you a safe and Merry Christmas. All right. And, you know, put your email signature. Um, sometimes it'll actually, actually, it should include your email signature as part of this, but you can always just, you know, Nick and uh, EXP Realty team. Okay, cool. So there we go. Um, so write your message there. Underneath, you have this image, you have this header, and this looks super nice. The last thing you may want to do is drag over this social media tab right here. Then you're going to click on the block. So you can see here, like every time you can click on the blocks to change the image, um, you know, or adjust the width or the, the height um, or the padding here. You can also click on this block here, and this is where you're going to go and put in the links to your different profiles. Now I've kept my username the same for everything. So it makes it pretty easy. Um, when I actually, actually, I'm not even going to put LinkedIn, but you can, you know, keep these here, uh, makes it really easy to, uh, to just configure. So I'm just going to keep my username, but you would just go and find your URL and drop it in these three slots. And, uh, and that's it. That should save it. So once you have that, you're pretty much done, right? Now, I'll give you one other option, guys, on this video. Like I said, I wanna keep it as short as possible. You can go check out the second part of this video, which is the, uh, how to schedule these mass emails in the second half. But let's say you didn't wanna have this image, and let's say we wanted to get rid of it. We would click on this block over here, and we would click the trash can to delete that section, okay? And you may be saying, well, why do I wanna do that? Well, you may wanna actually incorporate video which is even better than, than, uh, than that image, which would be great. So what you'd want to do, perhaps, is actually you'd want to go um, and uh, you'd want to do this. You'd want to go find a YouTube video that you really like, 
And let's say we're going to use this video here because this looks like a cool video, right? So I'm going to uh, click on this. And I'm, I guess I'll just click on it. And I will just save the URL. So you can see here, you just copy the URL up at the top. Okay. And I'm going to go back to KV Core because I'm going to click on this block here and I'm going to drop that video in because like, wow, this looks like an awesome video. You guys should go check it out and give a subscribe over at uh, Nick McCree on YouTube. So um, again, yeah, so you find a video you like. Uh, I'm just messing around. You find a nice video you like, KV Core Lead Generation Basics. So this, is, it, it, this one is a good video to watch though, for sure. But find that video, copy that URL, put it into this URL tab on KV Core under the, the block for video content. And once you do that, you're going to see that it essentially like pulls the, uh, the thumbnail from YouTube and it's going to populate that within the email. So it's going to bring that, that video uh, over here and it's going to play it, host it right on the email, which is pretty cool. Now you can also do this a different way. You can also delete this. Okay. And we can go one step further, which is bomb bomb. Some of you guys may have upgraded to bomb bomb as I have, and you have different videos that you have saved, or you can go and record videos in, uh, right away. Um, you know, you can add a video and record something immediately, um, you know, from, uh, this video player. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now because I have some other videos that I have, uh, saved. Right, so you can see here that uh, what's cool about the bomb bomb ones is we'll actually play a preview of the video. So if you shoot something personal for them, or if you shoot in this case like a uh, a video wishing uh, your clients uh, a Merry Christmas and a uh, you know Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, something like that, right? Then you can actually shoot it, and it will preview. Uh, it'll actually preview the video here and play it, embed it in the email and as you know through bomb bomb your clients will be able to actually respond with a video of their own so this is a really cool way to not only do like holiday posts but in terms of creating really good uh emails that have a much higher response rate this is going to help improve that open rate and response rate greatly for your email marketing especially regarding your sphere of influence so that's all I have today for you guys is, uh, again, for editing, using this advanced editor, how to create these templates. Again, there is a second part to uh, kind of this series on email marketing, which is going to be me showing you guys how to actually go into marketing autopilot, scheduling mass emails, and how to actually schedule the email effectively to send out to all of your clients or, you know, specific section of your clients. And that will be found in another video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, make sure to give it a big subscribe and comment below. If you guys have any questions in the comments, let me know what you thought of the video, if it was helpful, and also let me know if there's other topics that you'd like me to cover. And I would look forward to making those videos. See you guys on the next one. What's up guys, it's Nick. Thanks for checking out my channel. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I post so much content on how to dominate the competition digitally. So if you're a real estate agent, an entrepreneur, or a business owner who wants to have better marketing, shoot better videos, and create more sales, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can connect with me everywhere on social media at Real Nick McCree. And as always, I want you guys to take the value that you learned in this video and implement it into your business right away. So that's all I got to say. Again, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.